ABC 17's Zach Boetta was present for tonight's vote. He kicks off our live team coverage tonight. Zach, three members of the council voted against this mandate. Yeah, Lucas, Pitzer, Peters, and Treese voted against it, while Scala, Wainer, and Fowler voted for it. Now, council member Ian Thomas wasn't even here tonight, so the council had to unanimously vote yes in order to pass Bill 260, which was the mask mandate. As you can see right now, it's definitely a different environment than it was just a couple of hours ago when people were piled in to the city chambers. The best way overall to describe tonight's meeting would be rowdy. By your vote of three to three, you have defeated Bill 26021. Any? We want to be heard. It's Every single seat was full in the Columbia City Hall Council Chambers tonight as the latest mask mandate was rejected. Health Department Director Stephanie Browning, who presented some numbers despite some doubt from the crowd, ultimately sided against the mandate. I don't believe that a mask mandate is going to significantly increase mask wearing. And I really just believe our time is better spent working on education, outreach, and vaccinations. Mayor Brian Tree said the city really wanted to be heard here at the meeting, saying the clerk received over 700 public comments before 4 p.m. today. The mayor saying it's been a distraction. For the last seven days, this has been a distraction and, frankly, complete disregard of the current mission of our public health professionals. Masks are important. They're an important mitigation factor in conjunction with vaccines. But there's only 24 hours in the day. And every minute and every hour that we spend talking about masks or mask mandates, we're not talking about vaccinations. Side, Council Member Andrea Wainer from Ward 2 said while she's not surprised, she is disappointed. She says she has a son who can't get vaccinated, and when the discussion comes down to freedom of choice or personal liberty or carelessness or cautiousness, she finds herself in a defensive position, which is where she imagines many folks on both sides of the issue have found themselves. And Lucas, it was, like I said, definitely a different environment here a couple hours ago than it is now. Mayor Treese even had to suspend the public comment because there were literally 100 people inside of the council chambers, some of them not wearing masks, and kind of just, like I said, being rowdy. So we're looking forward to seeing where this mask discussion goes. But tonight, Bill 260 did not pass no mask mandate citywide for Columbia. Reporting live from the council chambers, Zach Boweto, ABC 17 News.